helpful. It's summer once again, and I thought I'd do a review today since I haven't done one in quite a long time. Now, for those of you asking why I've been absent for such a long period, it's because I'm working, you know, full time job, and right now I'm really struggling to move into a new apartment. This video is probably gonna be the last I do in this my old room. Once I move to my new apartment where I'll be living alone, God, thank God, um, it's gonna be you know different, different scene, different place. Hope it's gonna be just as good as this one. So I thought I'd talk about something that's very important to me. Well, I thought about I talk about dust, and especially dust filters, stuff like this. Now, before I, I bring you guys closer in to have a look at the filters I've got over here and explain a bit about them. I'm going to talk about why it's important to keep dust out of your computer. Well, any electronic device, if it's a computer, a TV, whatever, uh, it's going to attract dust because it has an electrostatic charge and things that are charged that lost electrostatically, to try to say that 10 times faster, um, they attract dust and dust really sticks to them. So what can happen in a PC? Well, dust can get between the blades of the fan and the heatsink, it can clog up uh, GPU coolers, all stuff like that. I've seen, uh, you know, the type of blow blow down CPU cooler that the fan couldn't spin anymore because it was it was clogged with dust. That's a bit of an extreme case. But personally, you know, I live in a very dirty city, in a very dusty city. So keeping my computer clean on the inside is kind of important to me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go through stuff like you know cleaning habits or how often you should clean your computer. That's basically up to you. You know, you know, the, it just have to look inside it. If it's dust inside it, you have to clean it. Well, um, basically, um, the past two years, I think all my computers have been dust filtered in one way or another. And by using you know various types of dust filters, I think I've you know got a bit of experience. Uh, about the different types of dust filters available on the market and I'm gonna share with you guys uh, some of my thoughts on this matter my, my, my throat's really dry it's, it's hot as shit in here that's why I hate summer living in a room with no air conditioning it's fucking terrible well, well at least I got my shorts back because I you know you guys love these shorts so just gonna bring you guys closer in to have a look at these dust filters okay it's gonna be a fucking nightmare trying to film this because uh, if I pick them up, you know, we can't really see much. But before I show you them, you know, in detail, I'm just gonna talk about these two. Now, I've used this type of dust filter before. This one is a very uh, large dust filter, not large as in size. I'm talking about large as in the holes are very large. And this is what I would call normal. This one, the large one. This is only good for stopping high uh, volume dust particles. Um, bigger dust, par the dust particles are the ones that don't stick to things. They're the ones that just, you know, form little dust devils on the floor and they roll around. Uh, so this one is good for stopping stuff like that. Sorry, but this is the best I can do. You can actually see, you know, the size of the holes in the filter. I'm just gonna put up this one next to it as a comparison. You know, you, for this one, you, you almost can't see the, the holes as where you can see them in this one. Um, using the bigger dust filter you just saw, uh, what I discovered is that um, while it did stop some dust particles, the inside of my case was completely blanketed. Everything was covered in a very, very fine layer of dust because mm, the smaller dust particles would just go through the holes since the holes are so large on this filter. Burp. Sorry. Uh, okay, so you know, this one is really cheap. I mean, this type of dust filter comes free with most cases. Now, some of the higher end cases use this mesh style dust filter. Now, this one, as opposed to this one, stops a lot more dust co coming through, but uh, in my experience, even this type isn't perfect because the very, very fine dust particles can still go through it. And you can look at it, I mean, it's just a piece of it's a piece of filter. Uh, mounting something like this onto your case is gonna be a nightmare. Depends, you know, if you have, if, you know, at least this one has screws, you can screw it between the case and the fan. But this one, you know, just have to glue it on or use some of that double-sided tape to put it on there. 
you know, at least you can cut it. You can cut it to the size you need. I mean, of course, you can buy dust filters that are just, you know, made for 120 mil fans, 140. This one is a 200 mil, I think. Yeah, this is a 200 mil fan. So, you know, you can just, you can buy this style of uh, dust filter uh, with holes and, and it, I mean, drilled in it and pre, pre cut to the size you need. Um, now, in my opinion, none of these are perfect. They're cheap. That's their only plus side. But this one lets in far too much of you know dust, just up to big, very big particles. And this one, although it does a good job, uh, now I don't know if you can see it. It's actually dirty. You see that? Now I've washed this, and it's fucking dirty. Um, so and the sides here, it's starting to tear to pieces. So it's not really perfect. Now, what I've gone to using is one of these. Now this has the same. Uh, basic texture is this one meaning that it's you know vertical fibers and horizontal fibers but the difference is that the fibers in this filter are extremely small extremely small now to the point where if i pick it up like this you can actually you know see, you can see the surface of it but i'm not going to be able to show you guys the fibers because i don't have a camera that good and honestly even with the naked eye you, you can't really see them you can you can just barely barely make out the texture when you're touching it this dust filter comes from a company called Densiflex, or whatever the fuck you pronounce it. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. Okay, um, this edge right here has, on the other side, a magnetic strip. Now, this filter in particular is designed for the side panel of a Cooler Master Half X. They send it to you, you know, pre-cut pre with the um, magnetic strip attached, so you, there's no fabrication involved. Uh, this filter I've discovered after using it for, I don't know, about a month right now. It stops the vast majority of dust particles getting into your PC. If, of course, you have all the intakes you dust filtered with this type of filter. And because it's a magnetic strip, installation is dead brain simple. You just stick it on there. Um, and they also make, the company makes this type of filter for, you know, most of the gaming or high-end cases out there. If not, you know, you can just buy a regular one, 120 mil, 140 mil, whatever you need. Um, so what I've discovered is this one, you guys, I don't know if the camera can catch this, but uh, it's been dirty for, from use. I've just rinsed it and the dirt just comes off it. It just comes out of it completely. It's not like these ones, which, you know, you can see the dirt stays on there for a long time. It's really hard to clean properly. So, and because, you know, the difference between one of these and one of these is that this filter, if you want to clean it, you have to take it apart, take the fan out, clean it, and a lot of dust accumulates between the filter and the fan, or the filter and the side of the case, wherever you mount it. Whereas with this one, just take it off, wash it, put it back in with the magnets on, on the outside. So, I mean, that's this, this system is absolutely brilliant, and it's very, very user-friendly. Um, now, they, the other type of other type of filter that I don't have on hand, unfortunately, is the foam filter. Now the foam filter uses a type of foam, like almost like a sponge, uh, and that they say is the best type of filter because it stops almost all dust from getting in. But that type of filter has another disadvantage. Uh, it stops also a lot, a lot of the airflow, and it distorts the airflow since the air can't go through it. You know as it wants to, since it's a sponge, has to go for all these corridors, you know, between them. And the airflow gets distorted. Whereas with this type of filter, although it does stop some of the airflow, more than one of these big ones, of course, because this one is much finer and, you know, there's much more, the holes are much smaller. It, at least it doesn't disturb the airflow. The air can still go through it evenly. Okay, guys, so. Uh, you've seen the filters up close. Now, I'm sorry I can't do a better job of showing you the actual mesh in the filter, but it is really hard when you don't have professional equipment. Uh, so I'm just going to talk a bit more because I think it's really important to understand where you're, when you're using a dust filter, it's a trade-off between how much dust you're letting, uh, the, you know, you're keeping out. And that's You want to keep out as much dust as you can and how much air you're still letting into the case because the best dust filter would be a metal plate because nothing would get through that. But then again, no, no air would go through that. And you still want the air to go through the case to cool your components. It's a trade-off, you know? How much does it keep out? How much air you in? Now, something like this, which is the first one I showed you with the big holes, is very good for 
keeping g getting a lot of air into your case because it has big holes no problem and it's also cheap but the, the, the disadvantage is that it lets a lot of dust in this one the second one i showed you or uh, the, the normal basic normal mesh uh, filter uh, is some is a bit of a trade-off you know mm, midway there i would say uh, it does stop a lot of dust i would say but it also lets a lot of, a lot of air in now with this one which is the one personally i would recommend this type of dust filter uh this one stops almost all dust from getting in even the very small particles which is you know very important for me and personally in using them for about i don't know a month i think i've used it i haven't seen uh i don't feel any drop in airflow well i don't have professional equipment to test stuff like that but i haven't seen temperatures go up in any way it's not noisier in any way and it's still summer so it's really hot so you know that that being said personally i would recommend this type of dust, dust filter uh for any application now if you guys go and check out dempsey flex's website in the description down below you will see they have a v large selection of dust filters and also they have a lot of information about or how you should dust filter your case or what's important what to know there's really a lot of useful information and it's free you know for you guys to read the disadvantage the only thing i would say i don't like about this dust filter is that it's jolly expensive i paid for one of these uh, in my country where stuff is kind of ex more expensive than in the us or other countries in europe uh, i paid for this one i think like 20 euros new which is a lot of money but it, I, this, I don't think this type of dust filter will, you know, break or anything like that. I mean, I hope at least. Um, one thing you, you shouldn't do, you shouldn't pull on it because if you start pulling on it, I mean, eventually I think it's gonna, you know, come out from the edges if you start pulling a mini, mini kind of. But if you just use it like it's meant to be used, I, I don't see it ever breaking because there's no wear, you know, involved. If you take a, again, if you, if you're stupid and take a brush. Oh, it's dirty and you start brushing it away then i imagine you can damage it but if you're not an idiot and just take it out and you rinse it just a bit through water another thing I, i've noticed when i've rinsed these besides the fact that they didn't get cleaned they're still dirty uh, water really got stuck in the holes you know i had to blow it i had to put it between two rags and try to know to press the water out of it whereas with this one i just rinsed it and there was no water stuck between the particles, the holes in the filter. So, you know guys, uh, I think that was it. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, as I've said, probably the last video in this apartment. Um, when I move, if you guys want, I'm gonna you know, show you guys where I live and not where I live, but more like the apartment. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I think that was it guys. See you, bye. Uh, guys, this is just gonna be a very quick update. Um, a week has passed since I did the video just watched, okay? Now this is dust accumulation from just one week. So you can see how much of the dust actually go, uh, this filter keeps out. Okay? So, you know, just wanted to show you this. Bye!